This within a day will be up to about 130 degrees. And we have, you know what, excuse you. I'm talking. You're being very rude. Every time I do anything over here, he cackles. Okay, okay, we're just gonna have to stand here waiting for him to stop talking. Okay, okay. so it's been a weird week. Uh, we've done pretty much nothing. Well, not nothing. You went No, we, we have been very busy yes, this week. Yes, just on all the things that aren't really vlog worthy, like I don't know, placing orders for materials, and you went and did pigs. Did pigs. That with was the a roads. long, busy day. Yes. I had some weird stomach bug that day, so I was like down for most of it. It's been a weird week. It's been a weird we week. All, Jet we lag. All, we all caught a cold. Mm -hmm. I think it was that dreaded airplane. It was gross. Yeah, lots of germs everywhere, and yeah. we didn't have hand sanitizer. And no, we did. We did. But we didn't use it as often as we should have. You know how it is when you're traveling, and there's a lot of people, and you're in tiny confined spaces for it four happens. hours. Yeah. Anyways, no work on the mobile home this week. That's going to be happening tomorrow. We'll be filming that. We mm -hmm. have some friends coming to help us, and we'll be getting a lot, hopefully, a lot of work done on that. I'm excited. Yes. I'm very excited. We did get the front door in. We did. I will show you that in a little bit. So it's just like a weird week with not much to show, and it was kind of like, eh, well, okay. So you got some, some B-roll of the garden and what's been growing. You saw that. Friday, Fridays are my day that I set aside unless I absolutely can't get to it. Friday is lawn mowing, yes. yard maintenance, like the outside stuff. Right. Honestly, it's what I'd rather be doing all the time anyways. All the I time. I just love being outside. Just outdoors. Uh, but Friday is the day that I set aside for just doing outside things. Right. All it's, the chores. It's kind of like Saturday, Sanity Saturday. Yeah. This is like, you know, Fire Fridays. Yes. All day Friday. It's outside, doing stuff outside until it gets too bitter cold to do it. Right. And even then, he would probably bundle would up probably and go do it. So, anyways, we've had a lot of people ask about compost, mm. how you do your compost. Um, if you saw in the last video, compost was kind of like one of your big mm -hmm. steps for healing. And so people have said, well, how do you do your compost and why is it such a big deal to you? So we'll go over that because there, like I said, have been a lot of questions. It's really not as fancy as everybody thinks it is. It's really kind of a mix of uh, Paul Gauchi, a uh, little bit of how Justin Rhodes does it. Um, Jeff Lawton. Jeff Lawton. Um, and then your own kind of like made up stuff. Just my own, what I've found that works for me. What I do is all of the yard waste, uh, food scraps, everything goes to the chickens. They have it until it's dry and they've broken it down and manured in it. And once it's got a pretty good manure load, like this stuff, I cleaned out some stuff, uh, hill down by the farmhouse that I haven't touched since we've been here. Yeah. And I fin kind of mess. finally got to it because I was tired of it trimmed it all, raked it all up, hauled it in here. Um, this is a lot, but it's not as much as I've started with. This stuff will probably reduce by, oh gosh. Probably half at no, least. No, more than half. It'll reduce down to nothing. Look at so, that chicken back there in the corner. Laying in the grass. It's just like, oh, you can't even see it. There she is. Just check. going to town, having fun. Would you say she's having a heyday? <laughs> 
So I let them do this for, I don't know, a couple weeks, a month, until it looks like it's completely dry. Mm -hmm. And then I'll rake it all up. Because what they do the whole time too is they rake through it and they scratch through it and they poop on it. Yes, add all the nitrogen. Add all the nitrogen. And so it's dry, it's in a dry state. Essentially it's bedding. It's a carbonaceous diaper, as That's Joel right. Salatin Get would your say. Joel Salatin on. So then I rake it all up and start building a compost pile, and I add water. The water is the activator. This, within a day, will be up to about 130 degrees. Yes. And If it's allowed to stay in the pile. If it's allowed to stay in the pile. What I used to do was, once it was ready, I would pull it out, and I would put it in a compost bin, cover it, and get it wet. And I think the hottest I ever got one was like 170 degrees. Like you, you could slow cook. Oh yeah. Like that's sous vide temperature <laughs> right there. By compost bin, we didn't get anything fancy. It was just a raised bed that we weren't using anymore yep. that we emptied out. It was and, a four by eight, yeah. four by eight so bed. just a pile. And I would make a pile in there and cover it with a tarp and let it cook. Mm -hmm. And I started doing hot composting. There's lots of, we did lots of researching about different methods. There's the method of where you just pile it and come back in a year. Hot composting was what what I liked because it gets so hot. It just turned black. It's beautiful stuff. And this, we really wanted compost immediately yeah, for our garden. Yeah. We didn't want to wait a year. So here, instead of putting it in a pile, I just let them, I'd build it, it would get hot, and then they would rake it down and break it down even further. And so what happened, well, we can go look at it. My compost. <laughs> It grew, it grew a sword. Wow, I didn't know. That's a magical compost. It's like sword in the stone. So this stuff, it's not real dark. And it actually looks like leaf litter. And it was it looked the same when I brought it in. It was grass, mm -hmm. lots of stuff like that. And they break it down into this beautiful soil. And basically the way I tell when it's done is when it won't get hot anymore. Mm -hmm. So this stuff, I piled it up, got it wet, and it won't get hot. So I screen it bring it out i think i've i filled this thing all the way up and then i covered the garden trees and everything we needed yeah but i'm not real happy with it because it's not real black i like it darker but i think I it'll mean, get there compared to our you know our bright red dirt yeah i'm happy with that yeah it's, it smells and it good smells wonderful it smells like the forest floor yes so they are doing an excellent job working away this is why we need all the chickens they're well, my, that and because all the chickens. This is the labor labor compound the right labor here. Compound. They're doing great. They do an awesome job. And it keeps them busy. Gives them something to do. They so find goodies. If I don't have a job for them, then I just give them grass mm -hmm. and they're out and they're doing chicken things. Right now, I've got a job for them. So I lock the door, keep them in there, and this becomes a compost factory. Yeah. And they'll probably have this ready to where I could turn it into a compost pile. Fast side within a week. Mm -hmm. uh, probably I'll give it two weeks, something like that. Because it is getting cooler. It is getting cooler. And it got, kind of just depends on how often you add water. Or... And I'm nearing the point, the inside, I did the same thing. I put probably four great big loads, uh, the wagon, mm -hmm. uh, last time in there. And I just leave it as bedding. Well, the manure load in there is getting to the point where it's starting to smell. You can actually smell it. And that's right. when you can tell it's ready. It's if it, if it smells like a stinky chicken coop, it's time to change the bedding. Well, that stuff is going to be my secret weapon. So I'll pull that, mix that with this when this is ready, and start a really hot compost pile. But that's pretty much it. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing, you know, amazing. It's just compost. You just get the manure, get your plant matter, and add water. Yes. That's it. It's science. And I have found doing it that way because there's so much nitrogen in the manure, it's better if you ha you start with drier material. I've done it both ways. I've done it with manured stuff, with fresh green stuff. It doesn't really matter. Once it gets hot, it gets hot. Yep. I apologize for the light. Oh my Here, goodness. I'll, I'll it's a beautiful sunset, but it's like really hard for looking and vlogging. So beautiful front door we got this in right before we left for california like two it, it days it was the one thing it was like okay we've got like yeah i don't think anybody would mess with anything people don't really mess with stuff out here no i mean but it was like i would like to be able to lock stuff up we're leaving for a week right I mean, and there was some rain on the forecast and we didn't want you know just more a water gaping inside. hole all over the place so got it installed got it flashed everything's waterproof it's probably the most waterproof thing on this whole <laughs> On the whole thing. Technically, it's the only like finished waterproof thing. Right. So, 
Doors in. Yes. We're happy about the door. Yes. I literally did it bef the day before we left. Yeah. Like, it was that just was, like. It was intense, but we did it. High five. Good job. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's so pretty. And windows are hopefully going up this weekend. Mm -hmm. We have some OSB to finish on the other side mm -hmm. that we need to put back up. And then um, windows, we actually were gifted, the people who are coming this weekend to help us, mm -hmm. our friends, um, they gifted us a bunch of windows. He's in construction mm -hmm. and had a bunch extra that you know didn't work for a job, so they brought them and we now have beautiful, amazing Brand windows, new windows like, for our place. We're ecstatic. So they're coming back this weekend to help us like just get the rest of the stuff done mm -hmm. and get windows in because he's like a window expert. So this weekend is going to be awesome. We're hopefully going to get a lot done. Um, some people have mentioned how long it's taking or that we're probably not going to get in by winter. We're probably not. And that's okay. Um, I figured if we got in by winter, it would be a miracle. Awesome. But yeah. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's not. Um, we did overwinter in our travel trailer in Asheville, dealt with a couple of ice storms and survived. I mean, it was really okay. So it's not like we're going to die. Once, it's all good. Once we got everything figured out, you know, yeah. the heat tape and right. stuff like that. All that. It'll be even easier here because I can skirt it. I can do something. Right. We're stationary. Know, I, can, I can get the, uh, you can get spotlights. Yeah. Get spotlights, put those underneath, and they will actually keep stuff from freezing. Right. Stuff like that. that yeah. You can't do in a park because they gripe about it because, right. you know, whatever. Yeah. For everybody who's very worried, thank you, but we're really going to be okay. And it's actually warmer down here. We're a little, we're in the Piedmont, so we're down out of the mountains mm -hmm. a little bit. So it's actually about 10 degrees warmer down here. So it probably won't so be it'll, as bad. So it'll be 17 instead of 7. Right? <laughs> right. So yes, it is taking a little bit longer than even we want. I mean, I, honestly, anybody who's been in construction knows that that's just how it goes. And it's not for lack of trying. No, we've just been, we have been busy. And we've been doing things. We have one more commitment. We're doing the Homesteaders of America mm -hmm. conference, assuming the truck holds out. So we're after Homesteaders of America. We're making sure we keep our calendar pretty much clear mm -hmm. so we can focus on this. Now that summer's like dying down and all the crazy things well, are. That's part of it too. I can't work in this heat. Like it's, when it's yeah. brutal hot, I can't do it. Like, and you have dealt with heat stroke I, I, before. I, yeah. Right out of high school, I did landscaping and I got a heat stroke. Yeah. And it's not fun. No. And now, whenever I'm out in the heat, uh, I'm real sensitive to it. Yeah. So it was, you know, we had talked about it. It was like, well, we could move to Alaska. It doesn't get very hot up there. That's true. It's true. And it's beautiful. <laughs> but that's I mean, just something I, I have to deal with. Yeah. So it's gone a little bit slower as we're learning our area and we're learning our temperatures and we're, we're doing all that. And that's just something that kind of goes along with moving to a new place and mm -hmm. homesteading and stuff. And part of it, too, is like our commitment is to be debt free. Yep. It would be really easy to go get a bunch of like Lowe's credit cards and mm -hmm. you know, do all that. Kind it would of have stuff. been really easy to get a loan yeah. and buy a place that didn't need to be fixed up. Right. But, but we are so committed to being debt free because that's how we view freedom. Mm -hmm. It allows you to stay home right now. It yep. allows us to work on our businesses. It allows us to do all the things we want to do. I think I have a bug crawling up my nose. It's really <laughs> that was uncomfortable. <laughs> It takes more time. And like I said, anybody who's done construction on any kind of budget, you know that it takes time and... Because you go to Lowe's and think you have everything and then right. you start the project and <laughs> you dump the and then you're back to Lowe's. And uh, If you're not running on debt, a lot of those trips have to wait. Yeah, so they do. So it takes time. We've just done it as we get the money and yeah. if it's slower, it's slower. If, you know... It's fine. It is. So this is not going to be your typical fixer upper episode where in the in the first part they start it with the house and then by the in 30 minutes it's like, "Oh, it's done and it's beautiful." I would love that for it to happen that way, but honestly, even those jobs take like 6 months. Right. Or maybe longer. So, it is what it is. We are taking it one door at a time. And one window at a time, and it'll get done. And it'll be beautiful in the end. And we just love life here, period. I mean, it, honestly, it's not about the mobile home. It's not even about a house. It's about building home. Yep. And that's what we're doing. And that's what we're working on with our land and our garden and our kids and our relationship and everything. Yep. So it's all good. Just be patient with us. It's coming. So it is time to go do Fire Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. It's beautifully cool. The last two days have been like almost oh, it cold. Was like, it was cold enough this morning I had to put on a hoodie. Yes. And he was like, yeah. I've been wearing sweatpants all day, y'all. I mean, it's just glorious and I love it. So Fire Friday tonight for sure. We're gonna go do that. Y'all enjoy your Friday or probably Saturday now that you're seeing mm -hmm. this. Enjoy your weekend and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.